Welcome back. The Nigerian Premier League matches played yesterday for, I think, the first time were shown live on the internet. And it has, of course, uh, created some conversation for us this morning. And, of course, uh, the EFL matches also played yesterday. We will be talking about them this morning uh, with our very, very brilliant sports uh, uh, correspondent, good morning to you, sir. Brilliant, sir. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you. Uh, tell us about the controversy, really. What was um, the big deal? I've always been um, on the front burner of um, going up against the MPFL, the NFF. I, you know, Amaji doesn't like me very much, Amaji Penic. But um, I was impressed yesterday. You know, um, they introduced it to me. Actually, it was sent by one of the top guys in the NFF. I was like, Wally, please watch. You know, I think he wanted to just impress me. So I, I actually went on the internet. I went on the MPFL TV, that's what they called it. A little amount of money, though, for, per month. And I watched a live match. I was like, wow. So, so, you know, so we've struggled in the past with getting more fans into the stadium to bring in more people to actually participate and be a part of uh, what happens in the MPFL. Do you think this would help? Would, would this be able to... You know, generate more interest in, in... Yeah, in the past. In the past, there used to be this um, popular drink company that used to actually arrange a football event. They will give you T-shirts. They will give you their soft, their soft drinks. They will give you phones, you know, and you have to do a raffle draw. People had to come. See, it, 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 it's convenient for us to um, shout, there's going to be anybody against Canopy Last tomorrow. It's convenient to do that. But how do you lure the fans to come to the stadium? Mm -hmm. You know, you have to... We're Nigerians. We always want freebies. So what's there for us? What's it, what might take in there? And so we have to look for ways to actually bring the fans to the stadiums. And so, 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 so do you think this will help? No, this will not help. Because I'm really... Um, I can actually sit down in front of my computer and watch a full match live. Why do I have to go to the stadium? Really, I don't have to go. Especially but, with COVID-19. Really. Yeah, yeah. But, but eventually, you realize that um, it comes to your doorstep. Um, most Nigerians, are, I have a, a stationary stores jersey. The, foot, the, the football team is actually not available right now. But I still have the jersey at home. And um, you find out that Nigerians, ask a young Nigerian guy, which Nigerian club do you know? He doesn't know. And even if he says the name, tell me one or two players in that squad. He doesn't know. Uh, but ask, ask well, it, it is it a good thing? You are guilty really? too, though. I mean, I know the Enugu Rangers. I just don't know any of their players. I've seen, but I've been to their games a couple of times. But you ask an average Aimba Nigerian, Imba Baba. Baba, name one of their players. Ask the, ask the average Nigerian player, I am fan, which um, Barcelona player he knows. He will tell you the first eleven on the Whose bench. Whose fault is that? Because Our it's fault. obvious that Nigerians love football. So whose fault is it that they cannot? you know, connect or relate with, with the Nigerian Premier League? Yes, because the Premier League is not at your doorstep. The Manchester United matches, Arsenal matches, were in the office yesterday night and we watched practically all the matches and the highlights of all the matches in the English Premier League. We know every player in Paris Saint-Germain. We know every player in Bayern Munich. Most Nigerian fan, football fans don't even know one player no, 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 in any We're minutes. out of time, and I think we also need to quickly share you know, thoughts on the AFL. But you know, what I'm asking once again is, whose fault is it that Nigerians themselves don't have that much interest? We because need to it's put not... square pegs in square holes. We need to put round pegs in round holes. Who, who needs to? The Nigerian government. Listen, the only reason why we have a sports minister today is because he did well during the political campaign. It's not because he knows football. No, but we've, not always, because he knows we've, always had, we've always had, you know, um, so sports. You know, if you're saying the only reason we have the particular one that we have in right now. Um, well, there will be people, even if, um, well, yes, we have that problem of getting people um, as figureheads, but there will be people working with him that understand the game and that can guide him uh, to make the right decision. He's only going to bring decision. people that he can work with. Solomon Dalong was appointed sports minister a few years ago. And on a popular radio station, a sports radio station in, in Lagos, he actually said, I know nothing, little or nothing about sports, but I will do my best, God willing. All right, All right let's, let's go to the EFL, the EFL now. Come on. <laughs> What's Manchester United is currently, currently second, by the way, for those of you who missed it, if you didn't watch the game yesterday, uh, they got a 1-0 victory against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wonders. 
And Why are you telling us that with your face? You're just putting your face. I'm surprised. Okay. Currently, second. Look, look, at, the, look at his face. I don't Liverpool. know if they can zoom in oh. and we can see his face. I'm it's the way he's saying it. Really, yeah. <laughs> um, I've, I've, seen, I've seen matches played in the English Premier League, and um, I'm, just, I'm just stunned that, man, you actually are on second right now. Arsenal beats Chelsea silly 3 1, and they come and play a 1 0 game against. I, I, I think it's, um, the English Premier League is, um, is very interesting. I, I hope our league is going to be that interesting very soon. I spoke to Aishat Falode yesterday, and um, I'm a big, my wife like, loves this. I think that's why she still loves me. I'm a big fan of the Women Football League. I think women should be given more rights to do more things. The Nigerian. Think, but really, the women are the ones who actually make us proud. The men don't, they only break our hearts. The women are, are the ones who actually, in basketball, in football, the women actually always make it happen for us. Was this, was this and the league started like two weeks before ours started. Yeah. Then, yeah, so. All right. Um, of course. They've uh, got the acts together more than we did. Was, was this the, the Christmas, you know, that you expected, you know, the EPL table? Was this, you know, what you expected it to look like? I've been a Man U fan from birth. So no, Man U, aside as much as Man, United, no. Man U is on second right now. And um, yes, it's a big Christmas gift for me. But um, I, when you guys exaggerate, when you say from birds, did you know about football when you were in kindergarten? <laughs> no, but I, why, I'm why, just teasing. Why, I spent I'm just my eight-year-old birthday at Old Trafford, so I, that is my, so I, I guess I'm from birth, really, when I knew anything. But the truth be said, this is um, not the Christmas gift I expected. My you second, good for me. But Arsenal way back in 14, nah, I didn't All expect right. that. Wally, thank I guess you so I still much. Wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And that is a wrap for the breakfast this morning. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. I know I did. Um, some controversial thoughts were shared here. Some very sentimental uh, positions were taken. But you won't take away the fact that there is commitment um, in the studio to the Nigerian project. And I hope that that spirit permeates even in the new year among all of us, not just for us uh, in the studio, for you watching. Thank you for spending your morning with us here on Plus TV Africa. Always. And uh, if you came in late, then you can also follow up and catch up on any of the things that you may have missed this morning on our social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel also, all at Plus TV Africa. We wish you a great Wednesday ahead. Remember something that we learned earlier, uh, the uh, peace of the Lord be with you. And also and with also you. It's not going you. to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> See you at 9 a.m. this morning. Soon. <laughs>